Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm just going to be hooking up uh, the wiring for an air conditioner and I'll show you how uh, that process goes. The first thing you want to make sure is that you have the right size to power coming to your unit. Uh, right here you can see that it says uh, max fuse amps or max circuit breaker is 15 up in the top uh, right hand corner of your screen there. Uh, so we're going to want to make sure we have a 15 amp breaker powering this air conditioner. And assuming that you have uh, the correct one for that, then you can move on to hooking up the wires. So hopefully you can see okay there. So we're just going to pull these through here. We've got two legs of each 120 volts and a ground wire coming into our unit. And then we put the washer and lock nut on here. Pulls all the way. There it is. And get that tightened down. Get them tight. And then next we're going to hook up the wires to the uh, the wire to the ground. And I'll get a close-up of that here in a minute. But the ground is usually going to be located on the frame of the unit. There, it's just a flat screwdriver for tightening that in place. And now we're going to hook up each of our 120 volt legs here for a total of 240 volts. I'm going to make a loop here. It in. Now this wire should, um, I'm going to wrap a piece of black tape around it because um, since this one has voltage on it and it's not a neutral, you're supposed to designate that wire by using a piece of black tape so that people don't mistake it as a neutral. So we'll do that in a minute. And finally the second leg, 120 volts. Gonna go right here. So there you can see the uh, two legs we just finished hooking up there onto those terminals, one on each side, and then there's the ground terminal. Now these two wires right here are the ones that are actually coming from the inside from the furnace, which would go to the Y terminal and the C terminal on the furnace. Um, and normally those would just hook directly to these two wires that are coming from the air conditioner. Uh, there's a third thing right here that is uh, a utility company control wiring that they can shut off this air conditioner if there's a really high load on the electrical grid. And that's what this uh, box over here is for. And uh, so basically we have to hook off all of these up here. I'll show you how they hook up. I'm just going to wire nut them together. I'm not going to bore you with showing you exactly how to put the wire nut on. So you have them hooked up. I'll do my best to kind of explain this. So let's say that the power is coming from the Y on the furnace, coming into this black one here, okay? Now, the black one then feeds into this control box. This white wire goes to the control box up there. And if that control is has the air conditioner turned on, then it'll send the voltage back down this white wire, which would then go to the blue wire 
which goes to the contactor. And then uh, the other side of the contactor is connected to the white wire, which is just basically like ground or the common coming from the furnace. So if that makes sense. But normally this uh, second wire from the thermostat or from the furnace would go straight to the second wire on the air conditioner. So this is a less typical scenario, but now you understand how it works. So we'll roll those back in and we are almost done. I did add some black tape to that wire so that that is designated now. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please rate it up and feel free to subscribe down below for more videos like this one. Hit that little bell icon if you want to be notified about future videos. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed. We'll talk to you in the next one.